Hello, thank you for joining us for another Generation Gap Reacts video. We are continuing our Nightwish journey and listening to Romanticide. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yes, well, I'm very intrigued by just the name mm -hmm. of the song. Romanticide, side, is a word ending that means like kill, like suicide, genocide, homicide, you know, huh. romanticide. Interesting. So it's already giving me clues to what the song is about just in the song title. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Well, I'm really excited to get started listening to this song. As everybody has said, no two songs are alike. So I'm just ready for my mind to be blown again. <laughs> Same here, let's get going. All right. I do it over here, Mom. This is a much I, heavier song this than is any of the other heavy. ones. Yes, and I, I was still wondering, how does she do the wind, windmill? Yeah. And sing. At the, I mean, she does it, and then one second later, she's singing. How does she do that? Talent. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, this song is going a lot harder. I mean, obviously, they're heavy metal, but this is very heavy metal compared to the other two that we've done. So that's very cool. I love the drumming. I know he does it with his feet. I don't know what it's called, but I love that sound. And you know, it's like, you're getting pumped when it's like, da -da 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 -da. you know, like he's doing that with his feet. Really? On the drums, yeah. And that, that line, I don't remember it, but happy hunting carnivore was like, whoa. Oh. Just that line in itself was very impactful. Okay, well, just checking in on you, Mom, because I know the, the heavy metal thing isn't like your go-to style of music, so this is very heavy, so you feeling all right? <laughs> I'm feeling okay, but they're also extremely entertaining, so yeah, that's, that's true. the part that I like. Okay. Okay, we are hearing a completely different side to her voice because Ghost Love Score was more classical. The uh, story time was more poppy. And I was kind of right. People in the comments were saying that that song was written for their second singer, which had a more pop sound to her voice. So I totally caught on to that. And then this, she's giving us metal, growly, kind of raspy tones to her voice. She's totally selling the song, and I feel like the lyrics of this song are very powerful, and a lot of people can relate to 
these lyrics, but of course it's, you know, a big heavy metal rock song, so it's a little bit dramatized, but I mean, I feel like we can all relate at one point or another to having a bad failed relationship of and course. just that anger you kind of sense with the song mm -hmm. and wow this is really cool <laughs> Wow, the energy. That was aggressive. That was aggressive and the energy, every single one of them performing was like top energy level. I mean, my love for Yuka continues. <laughs> He was fantastic in this. The guitarist was fantastic in this. And then I see he has a pick, but I also saw him using his fingers too. And finger picking on an electric guitar is not super common. And that's really cool. And I, I loved the lyrics of this. They're darker, you know, versus story time. It was very dreamy kind of lyrics. These are very <laughs> aggressive lyrics. But it, it's definitely telling a story, that anger that you feel just through the singing, and then also their harmonies together. Marco, I think, is the bassist name, the blonde one who sings. And then his harmonies and singing with Floor just blends really well together. Very well. And blend is such a nice, pretty word for, they go hard together! <laughs> Yes, yes. Hard and aggressive. Yes, and then even, is it Tuomas? Am I pronouncing his name right? Please let me know in the comments. Um, he was even going super hard on the keys, and I love the little 
like shots of him just kind of he has this coy kind of smile because you know he's the one writing the lyrics and kind of composing the music and it's kind of cool the whole dynamic of the band because Tuomas writes the lyrics and composes the songs you know he's playing the keys and he kind of hangs back and Floor is the main singer and then Marco sings in it as well and then you're always kind of captivated by the guitar player and and everything else that's going on and the lights and the fire and Tuomas is kind of just hanging back playing the keys and I just my whole point of describing that is when you see the shots of his face he just has this kind of very uh positive kind of coy smile like yeah it's happening we're doing it like this is my kind of baby this is my you know vision and he's kind of hanging back watching it kind of happen and I don't mean hanging back like you know playing the keys isn't an integral part of the group because it is I'm I'm just saying he lets the other members of the band kind of shine and I think that's kind of humble um I hope I'm kind of reading that right, but I mean, typically in other bands, the lyricist will be the singer or it'll be the guitar player, you know? Mm -hmm. I just think it's really cool that um, he's kind of the brains of the operation and then, you know, everything is happening around him and he just has that, yeah, th this is my vision. It's playing out and it's like, yes, I can see it happening. He kind of gives you that vibe whenever you see his kind of his little smile, um, like he's just very happy. It's all kind of coming together that's through a great, his vision. That's a great observation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I could see that. Definitely, I can see that. It's his baby, so he's just letting it happen, and everybody else is doing their part amazingly right. well, and he just seems happy. I know from other comments that there was some disagreements and maybe some butting heads within the band with the other two previous singers. So it seems like from what I'm kind of gathering from watching this live performance is that there's a sense of like, yes, there's, there's, there's camaraderie amongst the group. And yeah, I don't want to go on too long about that, but <laughs> it's just like, there's thoughts are in my head, so I'm trying to explain my thoughts. And then the more I explain it out loud, I feel the more it's not making sense. So then I have to explain more. No, you're doing fine. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but man, the energy of everybody on this song. Mom, what are your thoughts on the song? Well, you pretty much said said everything. Um, I, when I'm watching it, that's what I pick up on. This is really heavy, uh -huh. high energy. A lot of things are going on. I I love Floor. She's just amazing. And she could fit into different roles. And this one is her heavy metal. Yeah. Which she's, you know, just another version of her goddessness. <laughs> that's not a word, I'm sure. But... She's just incredible. They're, they're all so incredible. Yeah. And I know I've said it before. Everyone is amazing at what they do. Amazing. Top notch. Yeah. It's very impressive. Yeah. The, the, um, I know that like the drummer is different now. Um, so not every single member in the group that we're seeing in this live is still part of the group. But I feel like because this is, you know, most of the reactions that we've seen is this group together. I really like this group together. They just seem to all have respect for each other. They're in sync with each other. You know, when you're just playing on stage and everything is just going so well, everybody's just hitting their mark so perfectly. There's just probably this, this energy and this vibe on stage that it's just like, yeah, it's going perfect. We're vibing with each other. And that's what I sensed in this song. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. It just it just works so well. Whoa. <laughs> well, thank you to everybody who is following our along our Nightwish journey. We are having so much fun. I think especially me, because I listened to heavy metal in my high school kind of emo days. I don't know if you can tell from my, you know, pretty white shirt and- Your I had tattoos? Some <laughs> I cover 
through them usually, but they come out every now and again. But um, I definitely had my, you know, kind of dark emo phase and I, I loved that phase of music. And so this is just bringing back all those memories and just those feelings of, you know, that type of music that I listened to and like friends I hung out with. And this is just bringing me back. It's so much fun to remember I have, I have that little, little girl inside me that that used to really, really like this type of music. and Oh yes, I remember that time very well. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you again. I think I already said thank you for following along our Nightwish journey and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel if you're new to our Nightwish reactions. I have a Nightwish playlist on our channel with all of our previous reactions to this group. So go ahead and check that out and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.